Hi everyone. So, what is this, the sun? <laughs> Look, like it's crazy. Look how bright that is. No, we can't have this. We can't have this, hold on. Hold on, it's like blinding me, hold on. So, multi-step inequalities, give me a second, hold on. Hold on now, it's too much. I'm not trying to blind you, hold on. That color's not good. Okay. Hang on, just hold on, I'm trying. It's too much. Take a look at this, look at this thing. It's ridiculous. Please turn off. Please turn off immediately. Oh my gosh. Oof, that was a lot. That's serious? All right, hi. Apologize for the delay. I'm having all kinds of problems here. <laughs> Okay, multi-step inequalities with a variable on both sides. Okay, so multi-step inequalities, it's another one of those math equations, right? Or math, um, not equations, it's a math sentence, sorry. It's late. <laughs> okay, so it's a math sentence, right? When we try to solve a multi-step inequality, we're gonna continue the process just like we would with an equation or an expression, right? We're trying to get as far down as we possibly can. The inequality sign, this is a less than or equal to sign, I can do the same thing. I can kind of break it down into two equal parts, right? Now we're gonna distribute the eight just like we would. We're gonna pretend like this is an equal sign, easy peasy. The eight's gonna distribute to the negative five and the negative six M. So we've got a negative 40 minus 48 M is less than or equal to negative four M plus four. Okay, now we're just gonna combine like terms by moving one uh, term to the one side. I always like to move the first thing I see. So I'm gonna add 40 to both sides. Draw a line, drop down, negative 48m is less than or equal to negative 4m plus 44, a lot of fours. Now I'm gonna take something from the right and move it to the left, so plus 4m on both sides. Okay, hopefully you can still see that, I don't know how low this goes, okay. Now I'm gonna have a negative 44m is less than or equal to 44, okay. Now this is where the golden rule of inequalities comes into play, and yes, it's called the golden rule. So the golden rule of inequality says, when I divide by a negative, or multiply for that matter, but that's only for fractions. When I divide by a negative, I must flip the sign, all right? So I am dividing by a negative because it's the only way to get away from the M. I have to flip the sign. So what I'm gonna be left with here is M is greater than or equal to negative one. So that is the golden rule of inequalities. The golden rule says when I divide or multiply by a negative, I've got to flip the sign because otherwise I would be looking at the wrong side of the equal sign. Now, the next step really is to make sure we plot this on a line um, or like on a, on, a, on a linear plane. And because we only have one variable, it's on like a straight line, like one domain. So I'm gonna make a line, make a dash mark. Negative one is kind of the key point here or the key number here and it's greater than or equal to the arrow points to the right it's a filled in circle because it's an equal to sign and it goes to the right now what does that mean that really means right there and this means it too but that right there means that every number including negative one that's greater than negative one so every number in existence greater than negative one is part of my answer so for an inequality, our answers are a range of numbers, not specifically one number like you would get in an equation, right? Or infinite answers or no answers like you would get in an equation. So this is our answer, this is completed, done, right? So I'm gonna go through the second equation quicker. If you wanna pause me to make sure you get this just like we are gonna do here, you can go ahead and pause me and we can work it out. <laughs> you thought you paused me, you didn't, that was just me myself. Okay. Uh, 40n minus 30 is greater than negative 30 minus 7n. Draw this down. Uh, negative 40n, negative 30 uh, is greater than negative 30 minus 47n plus 30 on both sides. This is a good one. I'm actually glad I did this one. Oh, gosh. Okay. Zero is greater than negative 47n. Again, I'm dividing by a negative. So the golden rule actually applies to both of these problems. You 
probably won't get it as frequently as I just did this, right? So negative 47 on both sides, I'm dividing by. And again, I'm flipping this on. This one's actually interesting as well. So I'm going to get zero is less than n. Now, here is a problem. The problem is, is that our variable is on the right. That can't ever happen because you're gonna plot this on a number line and you're gonna make the arrow go to the left. That's not true. If you ever get something like this, where your answer or the variable is on the right-hand side and your answer is on the left, we need to actually turn this whole thing around because this cannot be plotted correctly. Well, I am leaving a PTSA envelope. So we're actually flipping back. On the round table. And this is I, it's it's terrible timing. Armstrong it's been it's death. six minutes. This video six, six minutes. minutes. Final answer. The envelope will be in the front office. They'll probably ask for it. Zero. Have a good evening. Open circle to the right. Bye.